Hello, my super sad cheese. Well, December's here. Happy birthday. I, um, I've been starting each reading with a, an Alki oracle card. Alki stands for she who. She who does something, sees something, hears something. Anyway, you'll get you'll get the idea once I pull one out. Um, I saved you guys till last, of course. Save the best till last. I hope you're having a wonderful December. I hope that you are rounding out the year with a bang and rocking into 2020. 2020 with a bang. Go, you good things. Because this year, if you're anything like me, has put you through the ringer in a good way. Challenges, um, tests, lessons, lots and lots of learnings. And I, for one, am very grateful for the, excuse me, the amount I have learned. It's like, I'm just getting the, the spring of knowledge. That's what it's felt like. It's just only sometimes it's felt like um, a bucket of ice water being dumped on me. There's no gentle bubbling with this spring. Some of them have just been, you know, a real ice bucket challenge. So I hope you've got through your own ice bucket challenges and are ready to take all that knowledge um and gratitude of of that growth with you into next year. Um, just between us, after I get this off my chest, it's a general read. It's not for everybody. It it can be sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, take your pick. It could be for you or for someone you love. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Um, and if it helps, that's my aim. So that's all well and good. Secret for you is the reason I've left you till last is because this reading, I am doing this reading on my birthday. So I really wanted to share my birthday with my Sagittarians. What do Sagis need to know? What do we need to know? What's the overarching message? It is she who resists or does fearless, justified and resistant. And I don't think that's a bad resistant. I think that's an awesome one. When you look at the look in her eyes, it's like, no, no. Um, she's so determined. It's it's almost, you got me once, you won't get me again. I've learned from this. And it's fearless and justified and resistant. So it, it just strikes me as the, the sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. The, it's not just the end of a decade. It's the end of an old way of thinking. It's the end of maybe an old behaviour that you've been tolerating or an old situation that you've been putting up with um, or something along those lines and you are resisting that now. You are resisting the pressure that can be put on you to remain the same. So let's see where we go with this. 
But that that woman and her face, I'll hold it up again for you. She is so fire sign. If you look at her, now that's a fire sign face. If ever I've seen one, that 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 is so um, solid. There's no. There's no getting around that one. She's she's like, you know, titanium solid. Anyway, what is the current situation? Current situation for Sagittarius, please. What is the current situation for Sag? Too many. Just one. Can we have a current? Oh, they're playing with me. Okay. We've got the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. Uh, now, the Six of Cups can be someone from your past coming back. It can also be a lesson from your past or a memory from your past. Now, if you look at these two cards, which I will show you, the Six of Cups is remembering fondly joy and lightheartedness and fun and frivolity and really good times and innocent times. And the Page of Cups is serious, offering... Oh, Oh, see, Sag, like, really, so Gumby. Um, for my friends who don't understand that, it means, like, uncoordinated. Um, the page is so tentative, nervous, young, um, unsure. So, uh, hang on. It's all blurry. Okay. Anyway, maybe if I do one at a time, that would help. Um, maybe that's what you want, but you don't know how to ask for it. You don't know how to ask for that joy. I mean, fire signs are some of the happiest, you know, most oh, known for their optimism and their fun and joy of freedom and lightheartedness. There is a flip side, but, you know, ultimately we're known for Big picture, fun type things. Freedom, independence, loving. So this page of cups is a bit unsure. What? That might be the block. I think I'm seeing that. That's what that is. It's really interesting. I'll keep going. What's happened in the recent past to bring this reminiscing back? Oh. What has happened in the recent past? Sorry, I do this, I'm listening. If I just tilt my head or close my eyes or something, it means I'm listening. <sighs> Recent past for search, please.
Okay, I've just been told I'm asking the wrong questions. This is really interesting for me. This hasn't happened before. I'm asking the wrong questions. Okay. Okay. All right. Who are you reminiscing about? Who are you thinking about? Who are you daydreaming about? What's that about? What's the daydream? Yeah, two queens, pentacles and wands. Who do I want to be when I grow up? Who do I want to be when I grow up? Who did you want to be when you grew up? I will guarantee you that as a child you probably and this isn't this isn't male or female this is overall energy oh, that was well done um, who did you admire when you were young who did you look up to um, because the the Queen of Coins in this deck, her third eyes or her ground chakra kind of somewhere in between is highlighted. So she's very intuitive, very wise, um, very in touch with nature. And the Queen of Wands... Take her on. I dare you. If that isn't, if that isn't a very similar expression, I don't know what is. They are fierce. So. These are the two energies you wanted to embody when you grew up. You wanted to be kind and loving and generous and grounded, but not constrained, not boring. Boring's boring. Who wants to be boring? You want to have the fire and the passion and the freedom. But also be able to love whoever you wanted and to know to know things you wanted to know things sorry I don't mean to look over my glasses the problem is they're my reading glasses so they're good for close-up but they're really bad for distance so it's kind of like now I see you now I don't kind of thing anyway I digress Let's keep going. This is so different to every other reading I've done. It's it's like seriously different. I'm just going with the flow for this one, man. All right. So that's where you currently are, which is good. Go back. Get out of the energy of this is what we've learned this year. I hope, I hope we've all learned it, is that we need to get out of that old, and this is where you're going back, the old voices, the old noise that tells you whatever you grew up hearing, whatever it was that told you in some way, shape or form that you weren't good enough, you weren't worthy, you weren't lovable, you weren't enough, you weren't this enough, you weren't that enough. 
hopefully this year what we have learned through all the trials and tribulations is that before we believed all that shit, there was someone in us, male or female, who knew who we were, we knew who we were, and that was, that was smothered. Okay, we've got the six of coins. We are seeking balance, balance. That's ultimately what we're not seeing. We're not seeing that the struggle we're having is that what we really need is balance. And that's where these two energies come in. We don't have to be one or the other. We don't have to just be a fire sign, you know, and all that comes with it. We can be grounded and responsible but not boring. We can be um, reliable and free. We can be kind and caring but have fun and jokes at the same time. You know, we've learned that we can embrace different sides of ourselves and go back to finding who we were before we were told different. So here's an interesting question for you. What challenges are we going to see? What challenges? What You know, what interesting uh, what are those oh obstacle courses? What's our next obstacle course? Come on, share. What's our next obstacle course? It's gonna make me work for it. What's our next obstacle course? Here we are. Seven of Wands, Temperance. Our next lesson, ladies and gentlemen, our next lesson in our growth will be to oh, get better lighting, fair income. Um, temperance, Sag Energy. Seven of Wands, Fire Energy. So our next lesson, ladies and gentlemen, is to defend who we are. Again, here comes the balance. Temperance, balance, patience. You know, give and take. Two, two energies that can be joined. And that's... That's who we are. That's who we forgot that we are. And this is saying the next lesson is to be okay with defending who you are. And and in, in this card, the defense isn't, you know, a, a, a standoffish. It's just standing your ground. It's just standing in your truth, saying, this is who I am. And I'm good with that. I'm good with who I am. Thank you. You know, point your stick somewhere else because I'm good. I'm all good. Um, I refound me and I'm I'm happy with that. Thank you very much. What's the possible outcome? I said you. To finish off this year of our year. This was our year. Jupiter in our sign, hello, take full advantage of that. Um, what's the possible outcome for 
this interesting phase. Ten of Swords. Now, that's not what I was kind of expecting. However, it's a really... For this reading, I really like it as an outcome because when I was saying we get told a lot of things, we've got all the voices, the ideas, the beliefs that we got told who we were, who we weren't, they're all swords. They're all other people's thoughts. They're all other people's fears and beliefs that, that we adopt as ours growing up. And for this to be the outcome, it's the end. A 10 is the end of that cycle. So for this to be the outcome is pretty fantastic because it means that it's done. It's over. We are no longer going to carry those daggers around that are harming us. They're done. It's done. We've put them to bed. This is who we are. We found our authentic selves again. We have come to a quite a nice understanding of who we are and in our balance in our true selves. We're okay with calmly defending that and who we are. And, you know, we are fearless in who we are because we know and we are finishing with this. You can take your knives and you can go somewhere else because ultimately those knives that have come at you from other people are theirs. They're not yours. They're not yours to carry. They're theirs. So they can have them back. All right, my loves. Let's see if there's just anything else to finish off with. Is there anything else for my sages? Anything else for my sages? No, there's not. You've got this. I'll just see what's at the bottom. Strength. I just love that. For some reason, I just thought, I'm just going to cut, see what comes out. Strength. I mean, really. Hello. Now I can finish. No, no. Slip tight. You've got this. You're back in your energy. Go, you good things. Bang on for next year. We are off. We are on fire. We are authentic and we are going to rock this next decade. Go us. All right, my loves. Have a wonderful December. I love you lots. Hugs and as always, kisses. Bye.